check the mic. Let me just check, make sure we're good. A one, two, a one, two, a check, a check, a check. A one, two, a one, two, a check. A All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. All right, let's start this bad boy in three, two, one, lift off. Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, Twitter, Snapchat, Bigo, Joshua Combs here, back with another banger. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Welcome to the JLC Vlogcast. This is a nonprofit educational YouTube channel. Thank you for your support. Join me every day at 5 a.m., 2 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Two hours each show with highlights. Thank you for your support. Hashtag yesterday's news today with highlights. Good morning, good night, good afternoon. Hope you're having a great month. Cash app, JLC Vlogcast. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notifications. Okay, this is a 21 and up broadcast. All material used in this broadcast is sanctioned under the Fair Use Section 107 of the Copyright Act. All righty, all righty, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Let's see here. All right. Section 107 contains a list of various purposes uh, for the rich. The reproduction of a particular work may be considered fair use, such as criticism, commentary, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, etc. Okay. Today on news you can't use. Do you have any morals? Okay, okay, we have a buy one, get one free wrench. If you would like to subscribe to the JLC Vlogcast, you can get a buy one, get one free wrench. Good morning, good night, good afternoon. How are you? I hope you're having a great month. Make sure you hit that uh, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notifications. If you would like to check out the JLC Clips, you can always hashtag JLC Clips in Instagram, Google, all that, all the above. The JLC Vlogcast. You can always send a cash out to the JLC Vlogcast, and you can always tap in at 362-5106. Add me at Master Kills. If you're playing Fortnite, you can always add me at Master Kills. No problem, no problem, no problem. For business information, go ahead and uh, for business advice, contact Joshua Lawrence Combs at gmail.com. New clips from the JLC Vlogcast coming out Monday through Friday. Don't hurt yourself. Just call me Joshua Lawrence Combs. The number is 401-362-5105. Okay, let's get into uh, our sponsors. Our sponsors, our sponsors, our sponsors. So, all right, for our first sponsor, we have the Natural Whipped Butter, God's Gift Butter. Go ahead and you can... Uh, get this if you go online and you can subscribe and get that. No problem. No problem. Let me see here. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can get that naturally whipped butter. It is a 100% uh, naturally whipped body butter. Go ahead and get that at your online. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to Barley Love. Um, go ahead. Subscribe to Loading YT. Go ahead and subscribe to Top Dog the Dawn. Go ahead and subscribe to 52 Cinema uh, Group TV. Uh, let's see. Here's a little bit of the algorithm on how I've been doing for the last four weeks. As you see, we're going up. We got 6,256 views. Watch time hours. We're at a 545. We're on the road to 1,000 watch hours. All right, let's see here. Now let's take care of some news. Okay, for the news we got here, uh, let's check out the first news. Um, let's see, who do I want to pick on first? Boom. Okay, one important uh, 
Let's see. Let me start the cam. Boop. Okay. All right. One important and dangerous way Omicron surge is different. As various as the virus spreads like wildfire across the America. Continues to uh, the conquests or whatever the fuck that just says. I can't even I can't even read that. All right, there he goes. All right, the American communities and the consequences are already altered parts of daily life. Hmm. Okay, next on the news. All right. Go ahead and subscribe to Mr. and Mrs. Good 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 Bread Show. Um, they're a sponsor of the show. Okay, we already went over that one. Okay, let's go over this one right here. All right, in terms of fantasy football, fantasy football injury updates, latest news on Jordan Howard, Damian Harris impact 17 weeks, stardom, sit -em decision. Uh, it is written by Matt Lotavosky. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at that page. Okay, Fauci says that the CDC may add testing to isolation guidance. Almost 4,000 flights already canceled or delayed Sunday live COVID updates. John Howard and the Deming Harris are only the key questionable RBs in the early afternoon window, but both are, are must, must start if achieve given. The importance of week 17. Fantasy starts them, sit them down decision. We know nerve owners will be looking for injury news on Sunday morning. That's why we'll be here providing the latest updates until the kickoff. That is for the uh, football guy. Okay. Latest news in the CDC. <clears throat> Last week, the CDC cut in half the amount of time recommend uh recommends i uh, i don't know how to say that word people should isolate after testing positive the recommendations does call for a wearing a mask in public for the next five uh days but dropped any requirements of negative tests the cdc is very the cdc is very aware that there has been some pushback amount dropping the testing requirements. Fauci said that ABC News this week. I think it could be hearing more about the about that news in the day for the CDC. Fauci also said that his supporters reported in classroom across the national, I mean across the nation Monday following winter break. Most teachers may have students uh, vaccinated. Let me see. Yeah. Most teachers may have students vaccinated. Mm, and masks are testing protocols at many schools at many schools, he said. All right. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and go over um, the weather. Let's see what the weather's looking like in your part of the world. All right. So we got here. We got in Los Angeles, uh, Cupertino, we got 34 degrees. And Phoenix, you got 32 degrees. And is that Denver? Denver, Colorado, you got minus 22. In Texas, you got 29 degrees. In Memphis, you got 30 degrees in Memphis. Let's see where else we're going. Okay, in New York, around Pawtucket area, you got uh, that. So we got 48 degrees, Cupertino, 34, New York, 55, Rhode Island, Springs, 29, Vail, negative 2, Globe, 32, Memphis, 30 degrees today in Memphis. That concludes the, um, the, the, the update on that. Let's see some of the daily news real quick. Let's get to the daily updates real quick. Uh, this was an update that was majority of the Americans think that January 6th attack threat in the democracy poll. Let's see. President uh, president of top U.S. high school for football steps down after a, ma a hazing, allegedly. Uh, three hours ago, how climate change primed Colorado for a rare December wildfire. 
Let's see. A sacrifice lamb. A sacrifice lamb predicts the politics force out of a hundred of people and health officials. City's biggest story of 2021. All right, man dies after being pushed into an oncoming train and unprovoked attack in, it looks like it says San Francisco. Uh, Cape Town, major blaze rips through the South Africa Parliament funding. That was two hours ago. Hong Kong police raid stands news and arrest staff. That's new as well. Um, all raiders rescue from, okay, I can't read that last one. That was a day ago. All right, well, anyway, there's the news right there. You can get that's the uh, latest updates from the news around the world right now through all the major news outlets and things of that sort. Um, let's see what else we got going here. So, um, as you know, everyone's doing the corona test and things like that. Uh, go ahead and get your corona test at CVS wherever you can. You can get these tests if you don't. Uh, believe in getting the vaccine, at least get tested frequently. These are about 10 bucks at CVS, and you're able to go ahead and get that. This is episode 89 on today's topics, tomorrow's gossip. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel for more great news. Thank you for uh, coming, and I appreciate everyone. I'm going to go ahead and put out a video for you guys to watch for later. Um with that being said, I made me some, uh, where is it? Uh, where's my torch? I made me some mac and cheese. And uh, it looks actually really good. But I wanted to uh, get the torch and torch it up for you guys real quick before I end this video. And then I'll edit this video later. Uh, but, oops, that's not the torch. Let's see. Okay, um, I'm still getting everything fixed up, so by the time episode, um, you know, 100 hits, I'll be a lot more, uh, I've had a lot more practice. Anyway, this is the, uh, this is the You Feel Me. I made this. I said, okay, what I did was I put the mac and cheese, and then I took uh, Cheez-Its, crushed them up, Put them down, cheese, cheeses, cheese, mac and cheese, cheese, cheeses, cheese, mac and cheese. So now I'm gonna go, let's turn that up a little bit. I'm gonna get that from a distance. Get that nice and brown. Let me see if I can turn that down a little bit. Let me turn it up a little bit more. Gotta turn that up. Oh, there it goes. I'm kind of burning a little bit, all right. That burnt cheese type smell. You're probably wondering why the heck is he burning this cheese? Because when it comes to your plate, it's going to be so good. It's not going to be funny. Just get that top layer nice. Get that some character in there. Alright. And we'll just take a fork. All right, so you just take your fork. So again, I made this from the, uh, turn this down a little bit. Uh, turn that down a lot. All right, so I made this. There it goes. Remember, cheese, cheese its Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Now that's mac and cheese. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. That's back and cheese. If you're tuning in 
Let me drop the link for you real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Copy. Comments. Paste. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. Stream your album. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for the chicken to get done. Because the chicken is cooking. Chicken is for sure cooking. If you'd like to come up, I put the link in the description so you're able to do that. Mm -hmm.
is trying to get home from the holiday. More than 2,500 flights canceled today. Thousands more delayed. Airlines hit with a one-two punch of staffing shortages due to COVID and extreme weather across the country, from snow to thunderstorms, even flooding. Three people now missing and feared dead after the most destructive wildfires in Colorado history. Nearly 1,000 homes. If I was going to even make it. The record surging COVID cases, so many calling in sick, it's impacting critical services. 20% of the NYPD out. Some school districts going back to remote, others mandating all students get tested. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel? The new science of Omicron that some experts hope may bring an end to the pandemic sooner. Pretty much everybody will have some immunity to this virus come the spring. No more surprises. A new law banning unexpected medical bills goes into effect today. What you need to know so you aren't overcharged. And on this New Year's Day, after so much time apart, we celebrate the reunions this past year that gave us reason to smile. This is NBC Nightly News with Jose diaz Velarde. Good evening, I'm Kate Snow in for Jose. Happy New Year. And on this holiday weekend, there are millions of Americans moving through airports after celebrating with family and friends. Unfortunately, a lot of them are running into delays, not just because of the Omicron variant that has sent flight crews home sick, but also because of the weather tonight. More than 2,500 flights were canceled today, and already we know about more than 1,000 flights that are canceled for Sunday. Snow continues through the middle of the country with the heaviest bands in the Midwest and Great Lakes area. Throw in more snow, freezing rain, and heavy rain moving east tomorrow. And you have a mess on the roads, too. We begin tonight with Carrie Sanders. For those traveling by air, this first day of 2022 looks a lot like the final days of last year. I'm also just going to go home at the end of the day. If they want to take off the year like this. Flight aware showing on top of his canceled flights more than 3,000 delayed. Airline staff shortages, a result of COVID, partially to blame. The flight attendants union not happy. The CDC cut penalties from 10 to 5 days. Maybe a short term fix to staffing problems, possibly, but long term hurt as more and more people are infected and we extend the life of the pandemic. Ted and Lita Burr came to Florida for a seven-day vacation in the Keys. They've now spent five more days trying to get home. Your first flight was canceled because of? COVID. And this one is delayed now because of? The weather. I said I got chemo at 7 o'clock in the morning, Monday. So you need to get home. And then I'm like, we're going to make it home. Traveling with five kids, especially trying with cancellations. The Melman family was to leave Friday. Fort Lauderdale to Denver on Spirit Airlines. After a matinee four hour wait to talk to the airline, they rented a car, drove four hours to stay with relatives in Orlando. Hopefully, they'll get out tonight. There, you can either laugh or cry. And in the words of Marjorie Pay Hinkley, crying gives me a headache, so you might as well laugh. Weather tonight making matters worse. 42 million people under winter alerts. In Kentucky, severe flooding leading to water rescues, which is why flights in and out of the region are also delayed. And Carrie's with us now. Carrie, how much longer are these delays and cancellations expected to last? Well, with the weather and COVID still spreading, causing some flight crews to call in sick, the delays will be here and some cancellations tomorrow and the experts say for the coming days, okay? All right, Carrie, thank you. Let's go to Colorado now, where communities are still reeling from the most destructive wildfire in that state's history. Authorities say three people are now feared dead and nearly 1,000 homes were destroyed in the Boulder area. Emily Akeda is there. Tonight, sobering news in Colorado in the aftermath of the monster monster fire. Three now missing, and officials fear the worst. We unfortunately believe these are going to turn into recovery cases. We're calling in cadaver dogs and search teams to help us with an effort tomorrow. Hutch Armstrong says family lost track of his 91 year old grandmother while they were evacuating their home. No word from Nadine Turnbull since. They tried to go out the front door with the neighbor, it was engulfed. 
check the back door, it was engulfed. Turnbull's home among the nearly 1,000 destroyed, with more than 100 additional homes damaged. The fate of so many homes coming down to luck, as you can see here in Superior, a completely destroyed neighborhood on one side of the street, untouched homes on the other. I walk out my front door, and this is, this is what I see. Today, with the investigation into the cause of the fire ongoing, authorities executing a search warrant at an undisclosed location as the recovery process is complicated by weather whiplash. First fire, now ice. The structures where these folks would be are completely destroyed and covered with about eight inches of snow right now. So our ability to attempt to search and recover from those structures is very much impeded right now. Residents beginning to access some charred neighborhoods. Catherine Lopez narrowly escaped, abandoning her car in a mad dash for safety. Was there a moment where you thought, I could lose my life in this situation? Yeah, definitely. I didn't, you know, told me that someone left him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out. Police drove her out of the danger zone. It was just flames flying in the air, just... I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Tonight, the force of nature burned into the memory of the We hope that we can do a ways we can help families, perhaps recover the families. What's the status of the fire itself at this point? Kate, officials say the snow helped tame the fire tremendously, but crews are still working to put out flare-ups. You can see the home behind me smoldering. Kate? Yeah, we do see that. Emily, thank you.